about a year ago, there was uh, some publications remarking on some what were supposed to be mini humans that we discovered in uh, the South Pacific uh, that were supposed to be fairly recent and that were argued to be a true <coughs> parallel human species. Could you comment upon that? Sure. Um, one of the, the things that, that appears to be fairly clear now from the scientific data is that when humans were first appeared on the scene, modern humans first appeared on the scene, that there were also there were still hominids around. For example, humans and Neanderthals may have coexisted in Europe for up to 12,000 years. Uh, and there's also some indication that there were Homo erectus um, uh, spe species that are, there are, sorry, not Homo erectus um, hominids that existed as far, or sorry, as recently as 50,000 years ago in Asia, and then what you're referring to is this Flores man that was recovered uh, on the Flores Island in Indonesia that also seems to have existed till about 12,000 years ago. Now, it's not clear whether or not humans had contact with these hominids, but the, it's clear that they existed. So, it does appear that there was some overlap between these hominids and modern humans. Again, other than Neanderthals, there's no, other, there's no evidence that there was contact, but there, there, there possibly could have been. Uh, now, <clears throat> the way in which we would understand uh, the Flores man is that these, again, were like Neanderthals, that these were hominids that were created that existed for a period of time and went extinct. And that um, uh, you, you have to be cautious when you read about these types of discoveries in the popular press because many times uh, they will be referred to as being human or behaving like humans. And that's a very unfortunate use of the term of human. When we use the term human, we typically understand it to mean homo sapiens sapiens, or modern humans, or human beings. An anthropologist refers to a human as any primate that walked on two feet. And so, like the Australopithecines, like Lucy, Homo erectus, Neanderthals, are referred to many times as being humans. And their behavior is referred to as being human behavior. And if you're not familiar with that practice, then you, can, you pick up a, a popular magazine article or newspaper article where it says these were humans that behaved like humans. It's not meaning that they behaved like modern humans, but it's using that term the way an anthropologist would use the term, not the way that we would use the term, but it creates some confusion. So these, these, the Flores man really was not behaving uh, like, human, like a human at all is behaving in a similar vein to the other hominids. So that, that's how we would understand it.